Hello guys and girls. Um, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today we're working on something else, but the, the folks who own the house said, Kirk, can you do something with this? I said, "What? do what? Why? And she says, water. They poured this uh, a year ago and they did kind of a weird job. She says, water pours out of here and it's sinking this. I said, well, you know what you could do. She says, Every rain, this fills up with dirt where people slip and slide. She don't want no liability. In fact, she caught a little girl out here writing her name in it. And so she said, what can you do? I said, well, I say you just cut it out and report. And she said, Kirk, I can't afford that. Uh, what would you charge me to put a layer over it? And I said, you really you got to know what you're doing to do that kind of stuff. But yeah, it could be done. She says, well, I saw your video and I thought, oh, one of my most controversial videos. Uh, I'll put it in the description. Uh, but anyhow, there's a way to do this, but it's for plasters or people who are professionals because the material is not sold at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's Polybond. That's at the plastering material yard. And what I'll show you is, after I pressure wash this, because nothing in here is the dust, uh, I'm going to apply a thin coat of Polybond to it and that is a cementitious adhesive. Now that is used to hang styrofoam on brown coats. It, it's strong stuff. And after I put one little thin layer, then I'm gonna come back and feather in higher there and higher here. And here we got an inch. I'm gonna do it just because I can, but you guys use Sackcrete or um, any of the products that skim concrete at Home Depot or Lowe's because what I'm gonna do, uh, like the other video, I did this to my driveway, and I had people saying, where do you buy the material? Where did, uh, I'm going to show you how, but you go get the uh, user-friendly materials. And, and remember, nothing in here is to dust, so we got to get all the dust, dirt, and dry them off. And as a rule, guys, I don't, I don't take on uh, jobs like this. So if you have it, I'll show you how to do it, but it's not something that... We're prepared to do. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm doing this now because I can and I'm here. And uh, they didn't want to tear the concrete out. And I can't stop blame them. How long it's going to last, I told them it'll last a few years. And it might last 20 years. But I don't know because we're talking um, an inch thick. And they didn't want to go remove it and repour it. So. I'll show you how we do it and tell you some products that are more user friendly than the one I'm going to use because you cannot buy that product at Home Depot or Lowe's. And what I'm doing is I'm scoring this concrete. Scoring it means I'm, like if I put this on my boot, it'll rip the leather right off. So I'm scoring it, etching it. That way the polybond will adhere. We'll show you that when we get ready to do the skim. We're back, it's a couple days later. We pressure wash, remove all the dust, dirt, and grime because nothing adheres to it. Now, if you notice, this has got an inch. Now, what's happening here? Um, we discovered that this is an endless hole. It goes forever, and that's how this whole thing sunk. And all the mud and everything that's coming here, people are slipping and sliding. She's like, well, Kirk, can you remove this whole slab and uh, report? I said, I don't do concrete for a living. I do stucco. And she says, well, can you skim coat it. And I said, not really, that we don't do that either. And she says, well, I saw a video that you did do it. And I thought, you've been researching uh, skim coating concrete. I said, I'll do it, but you know, I'll charge you a couple hundred bucks, but it's not a permanent situation because I don't know what's going on in here. For this to set uh, a solid inch, there's a big hole here and I squeezed as much uh, polybond in there as I could. All right, guys. So the first thing you need to know is uh, well, we got to wet this first because uh, we want a mechanical bond. What's a mechanical bond, guys? That is where you take a cementitious finish, uh, such as the one we are going to put. And we're using, uh, this is not very user-friendly, the product. We're using Polybond. And Polybond is for attaching styrofoam molds to buildings. And some of these styrofoam molds weigh hundreds of pounds and so this 
cementitious uh, adhesive is what we're going to put on here. Just, just to uh, get the first coat on so that the second one will adhere to the first one. Uh, okay, so this is polybond. And again, guys, I don't advise you to do this. Go to Home Depot and get, say, whatever resurfacing product they have. If it says resurface, get it. Because polybond is not sold at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's, it's a product you have to go to the material yard, plastering material yard to get. And because I'm using it for a different reason, I can't uh, tell you guys, hey, go get it and do this. Because it's used for a different purpose. It is used for attaching styrofoam. <clears throat> How thick can you go with this? An eighth of an inch. What happens if I go more than an eighth of an inch right here? It'll crack. So I'm allowed, we're doing other things on this particular job. And so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put an eighth of an inch on here. And then we're gonna let that sit for as long as it takes to dry. And how hot is it right now? Um, it's about 95, perfect weather. I love the heat, so for me this is perfect weather. I'd rather be in the heat any day than the cold. But also with the heat like what we have, it'll dry this up in about oh, an hour because the ground is already hot. It's about noontime, and so the sun is, I'd say the sun is about 90, 95. And so the ground is hot, it's gonna suck it up. That's why I put so much water. Why too? Uh, the water and it, a lot of you guys will say can we put a bonding agent on no <laughs> because this is uh, a different situation than a wall there's going to be walked on and again uh, for liability's sake i gotta say don't use the product i'm using because it's not very user friendly and and you can't find it that other video i did showing my driveway i had i say 25 comments of just, oh, I'd like to see that now. Uh, so in this same video, I am going to put a link to that other one where I did my driveway because so many people said, oh, I bet it looks like crap now or it's coming off. No, it's not. And how do I know this stuff works? Because I've been doing this for 40 years. I'd love to say 35, but the fact is close to 40 now. But um, again, what I do for my house and what I do for clients is different. So when we get back home this late afternoon, I'll show you mine. And that video, a lot of people uh, just look at it and comment without reading the description. And they say, I can't find the material. You're not going to find the material, guys. So I'm trying to tell you now, don't look for it. Uh, but once this adhesive uh, cement, this is a cementitious adhesive, guys. That's a tongue full right there, mouthful. Oh uh, man, right in my way. Oh, uh, that's, that's no worries, no worries. Okay, so since Lou is in my way, well, I'm in his way. Uh, then you don't have to do this, guys, but I like to float everything. It kind of gives it a, a scratch mark, kind of like scratching it. Now this, when it, when it dries in an hour, even if the claw hammer won't get it up because it is an adhesive and it's used, again, to hang or attach styrofoam to buildings. It's the strongest adhesive cement I know of. And again, I did this 30 years ago to a couple places and they work, my own places. So the fact that she saw that video, I said, oh man, that video is so controversial. Everybody says it won't work because uh, this is what we do for a living. Anyway, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just putting some scratch marks in it. I'm gonna allow this to set. We're gonna get back to work on something else. Then I'm gonna add sand to the poly bond and build it up about an inch over there and feather here, feather there. So that right there won't, when this, this uh, real quick thing guys, I might as well point it out. This leaks and there's an underground thing here. That's why it's sunk. I put as much stucco in there as I could. So is it going to fix it forever? No, 
But anyway, she wanted me to do it, and she didn't want to pay to take it out. So uh, we're doing it. We're showing you how to do it. At the end of the day, now, this is dried for a long time, so I need to wet it. Since I don't have a water hose over here, I'm just going to hit it with this broom and dip it in water because the next coat is polybond mixed with sand. Are you supposed to do that? No. But again, I'm just showing you things, tricks of the trade that we used to do, and I still do. And when I get home uh, today, or maybe tomorrow, it's getting kind of late, I'm going to show everybody something I did like this, but I did it a few years back, and people, I did it once about 25 years ago, and we, it was a driveway like this, and we drive our big truck over it, uh, that monster, and we drive forklifts over it, and yeah, it got a little beat up, but that's what I started with. So when people say, hey, uh, that's not gonna last, me arse, it does last, but this is not something that is sold uh, for this purpose. It's made for another purpose. So do I do this for a living? No. If somebody called me and said, hey, I got something I want you to resurface, will I volunteer? No, because I'm a plasterer. I don't do this kind of stuff, but I'm already here. And, and the issue that they're referring to, it's not such a great issue. I can do it uh, without them having to splurge on new concrete. So, uh, now that we finished our other project, and it might have been faster for me to grab the water hose. Uh, okay, now what am I, now this is polybond. Poly, polybond is an adhesive, a cementitious adhesive. So this can't come off. I could take the claw hammer and try to get it off. It's not gonna come off. This is kind of mixed with sand. Why? Because I got it to depth now. I gotta get about an inch right here and an inch over there. Come on now, get out of there. Okay, that's about all I'll need. Now what I'm gonna do is take this big Congo crow, trowel because it acts like a rod. This is a rod right here, straight edge. Uh-oh, they're coming to write their name in the wall. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush out to this right here. That way, when the rains come, it'll dry and it won't hold water. And that's what it's been doing. It's been holding water because it's so much, uh, it's so out of plumb. So what we're gonna do is put it back in plumb and will this crack? Maybe it's not designed to go like this, guys, but again, we can do it. Sticking to the trowel, what's that mean? The trowel's dirty. All right, trying to squeeze around here. Get the rest of this out of here. Now here, I've got a feather all the way up to that. Whoa now, where are you going? Back in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this right here, Rob, Peter, to pay Paul, and kind of sticky, sticky stuff. Okay. I'm gonna put a, a slope on it. That's, this is fine over here. It's just this guy here is not right. Okay. Well, Okay, rather than you, it's going to take me 10 minutes to straighten this out. Let me straighten it out, and then when I come back, I'll show you how we float this in. All right, guys. Jay mixed me up a little bit more of a bucket. Started, thought I'd start fresh. This actually is a rod. I was going to put the lines in it with this rod, but because everything is off kilter, I'm using this to go around 
And let's see. We're going to start here, go around, and basically I'm rotting it to get it as true and level as it can be. Uh, here is off, this is off. So we we'll take it right here and come down. Then I'll take it one more time and put that expansion over there. You notice, guys, with uh, with concrete. This is for you two ladies. If you're going to do concrete, you got to have expansion joints, the lines that go every which way. All right. Now that I'm done with this rod, except for uh, making this line right here, I want to make the line just for um, an expansion. That's what it had. Now let's see, we're right here. Okay, it had an expansion. Anyway, now I'll take my big Congo trowel and make it a little pretty. And they were, they were like, Kirk, if you could just make it a little bit better, that works. So I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here, but we are trying to um, get it where it's, it's not going to collect dirt and, dirt and dust and during the winter time fill up with dirt where somebody might slip, hurt, them, hurt themselves. Okay. Then we're going to feather into nothing. They're saying this is higher, so it tilted. So this is too high, so I don't want to, I don't want to add any more there. So, um, anyhow, now I have to wait. How long? Ten minutes, and then this will set. So while I'm waiting, uh, I'll, I'll float these two out. That means I'm going to give them this appearance here so they're non-slip. And we'll show you the finish. Okay, ladies, guys, contractors, that's all uh, done. I actually was going to just give it a broom finish like they did here. When it sets, you just give it a broom finish. Why? <laughs> or a slip line so you don't slide on it. But since it's still not exactly hard, I'm giving it a, the lines with a float. I, I can use a brush, I can use a lot of different tools, guys. But since it's not fully dry, I'll just put the lines with this guy here. What's real important about this? It sounds kind of lame, but the expansion. The expansion here, here, here. And that helps, that helps it cure, that helps it so it doesn't crack in the future. But these refinishing products, if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, say, hey, uh, you talk to somebody, say, what do you suggest as far as refinishing uh, concrete? Say, my concrete needs uh, oh, an inch or two. It needs to be resurfaced. And uh, that's all they need to know. There are many, many products that can be applied just like I'm applying it, and if I knew the names of them, I'd say it, but I don't do this for a living. I mean, I do it on my own stuff, and I've done it for many, many, many years, but uh, for other folks, I tell them, no, you should either break the concrete out or uh, go to Home Depot and buy those products, because again, I'm using something that's specifically engineered for another thing, and throughout our 800, 900 videos, I don't like to uh, show something that is not a designated uh, material for exactly what you need. We make it a point to show everything that's um, kosher, everything that is done by professionals. So this has, I know a lot of my plastering buddies do this, but, but it's not something that I encourage anybody to do. I'm just showing it because I thought I'd kill two birds with one cell, meaning when I get home, I'd take a picture and all those people who keep emailing me on that one notorious video I did. What's it look like now? I'm gonna put it at the end of this video because it was done a couple years ago and before that, 25 years. Uh, anyhow, you see where this is going. Uh, you can resurface concrete, guys. 
just don't do it this way because this is not really a user-friendly material. This is polybond, then you mix it with sand. It really takes a lot of years in. Go to Home Depot, buy some of the quick creeds or uh, sac creeds, and they have resurfacing materials that it, that it. Okay, guys, just a follow-up video. It's the weekend, and I'm still messing around. This is what the concrete of my house looks like. I, I did it. Uh, I resurfaced this about, I don't know, a couple years ago. Just last night, I was answering some comments. I get a lot of comments all the time. So on this one video, I had about 10 comments saying, can you show us an update of what it looks like? <laughs> no, we don't generally go back a month later and try to do updates of what, it, what the stuff looks like. Bud is here, and I'm here, and Jason's here, so I just want to show you. Okay, we resurfaced this again. That was the second time. I resurfaced it once in 25 years. Did I need to resurface it again? No, but because I could, I did. I just want to say there are certain things in this trade and in possibly all your trades that other folks do. You could improvise without destroying the integrity of any material, guys, if you know what you're doing. Don't do what Kirk does on this one or on the, the video that's going to be in the description because I'm answering two questions at once. Everybody says, Kirk, that's going to... St that's going to uh, the first rain is going to come off. No, it's not, guys. And it's not going to come off if it's driven over. But if it's driven over with a forklift, which it will be, because I have material dropped off here. So what? Anyway, I'm just, it's resurfacing. You guys want to resurface your own concrete. Go to Home Depot. Go to Lowe's. And they're about six different products of all the major contractors. They sell there. It says, concrete resurfacing. The one thing you guys got to understand is nothing, no concrete resurfacer caulking adhesive will adhere to a dusty surface. So on the first video, I had my pressure washer here. In the video, I said I pressure washed it. 10 to 20 people immediately. Well, you're supposed to wet the ground. They, they see it. I mention it, but they don't read the description, nor do they even watch the video before commenting. So guys, this is just to say, uh, no comments necessary. Just read, read the words, watch the video, and if you're not certain, just disregard it. But don't leave bogus comments on it. So I'm answering two videos with this one video. And again, if I watch both videos, guys, it's all explained in there. Anyway, my name is Kirk Jason on the camera. We thank you folks for watching. And as usual, see you on the next one. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates, so if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that, for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.